Afghanistan. Taliban closes universities to women. Here's a summary of the article. The Taliban have announced the closure of universities for women in Afghanistan, according to a letter by the higher education minister. Three months ago, thousands of girls and women sat university entrance exams across Afghanistan. After the Taliban takeover last year, universities introduced gender segregated classrooms and entrances. Responding to the latest ban, one female university student told the BBC she thought the Taliban was scared of women and their power. Afghanistan's education sector was badly affected after the Taliban takeover and there has been an exodus of trained academics after the withdrawal of US-led forces last year. Afghanistan's economy has been largely dependent on foreign aid in recent decades, but aid agencies have partly, and in some cases fully, withdrawn support to the education sector after the Taliban refused to allow girls into secondary schools. The U.S. and other Western countries have made improvements to female education in Afghanistan a prior condition for the formal recognition of the Taliban government. This post received a score of 72,000, with an up-vote ratio of 90%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. To the surprise of no one. Only surprising part is how long it took to actually happen. Yeah. My reaction was, women were allowed to go to university before? I swear I remember reading somewhere that this was one of the first things they did when they got back in power. It was. But they didn't do it directly. They fired all female professors first. Then they put a pause on classes while they rigorously considered what the female uniform should be. This is just the last step. They also stopped girls from going to high school. Taliban are assholes. Of course they did. Just next door in Iran, 60% of all college grads are women. Look where that got them today. The people are smart and fighting for their rights. Taliban doesn't want to deal with that so they go back to the old ways. Taliban doesn't recognize power in economic strength because they have never had one. That's what people need to realize. They don't care about our metrics on endless growth of finite resources. They have total control and nothing, not even $2.26 trillion and the world's currently most powerful armed forces could beat them. The US could and did beat the Taliban along with the coalition forces. The problem isn't beating the Taliban, the problem is how do you defeat them? The truth is we are still present in Iraq and not Afghanistan because Afghanistan doesn't have oil. The only major export Afghanistan has is opium poppies, which the criminal Taliban will make more money off than Western governments ever would. That brings up an interesting question. Where do multinational drug companies get their opium to make opiate medicines? An opium puppy's juice is 40% morphine and there's lots of other useful stuff there, like codeine, and I think the roots of the plant are the active ingredient in the anti-diarrheal Lomatil. Are they buying under the table from Afghanistan, which has forests of opium poppies growing, or do they grow their own, or what? Anyone know? Thanks in advance. Cheers. This is worse than it sounds. If you're a woman and need a doctor, it has to be a female doctor because anything else would be deeply immoral. If they don't educate women there will be no health care for women. Has anyone pointed this out to them? I know it's a stupid question and I'm not trying to be funny, but usually guys that make laws like this don't really think about shit like this, so is there some way this could be explained to these idiots or nah? Women seem to be disposable in Afghanistan. They are. When I was there a convoy mine roller struck an Afghan woman. Blackhawks came to get her to the hospital for her crushed legs. The locals wouldn't let us treat her, when it was likely treatable. She is either dead, missing her legs, or can't walk because of Sharia law. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.